Let me take you on a love cruise. Hmm. I'm just a love machine. <laughs> That fucking song is in my head. I cannot. Gem Dude, I'm looking at the cards. I'm just going to let you know. Gemini, there's a little bit of getting away. It's time to play. You know, also finding yourself again. Because you've been through shit. Let's face it. You've been through a couple of really rough months. This has not been the most obvious year for you. And since the North Node is sitting in your energy, a lot of people are hating on that shit because of the fact that it is reminding them of the difficulties on the road ahead and tearing, like, like taking them out of their comfort zone. And there's a lot of backlash always to North Node. Cancerians just went through it for about three years. Let me tell you, I think so many of us are like, oh, glad to have that motherfucker out. North Node is not a bad luck totem right it's not a bad luck it's not bad luck at all it is the way and the way is hard it's difficult it's it's out of the comfort zone and honestly when it comes to gemini energy a lot of the energy is about just hearing things or information that we don't want to hear that we don't want to know and whether it's you delivering it or getting delivered to you it has been kind of an ordeal that you've been through. And listen, this is what I'm saying. Step away from your norm. This is a time when, honestly, every single Gemini needs to get on a ship and just go across the ocean. <laughs> get out of your normal place of being because it's other people's opinions and other people's perspectives, perspectives that you don't get exposed to on a daily basis. It's like you need a fresh row. You know, you need a fresh start. Um, not for good, not permanently, but I do feel that there is some fresh start, whether you were forced into it or whether you chose to step into it, that is going to be really lovely for you. Now, if you chose to step into it, you do enter in a lot more kind of a solid position because this is consciousness and your consciousness is attached to and connected with the future and moving forward and trying something else and, and working things out for yourself by seeing different perspectives or offering your perspective to a different crowd. But ultimately, Gemini, if so ultimately, let's go back, if you have not chosen this and you sort of been kicked into it, it may feel right now like it's a punishment. Like it's uh, like it's something to be ashamed of or like you're angry. I feel a lot of anger, not necessarily shame, being pissed off or not being listened to um, or not in some ways um, things not going your way. But ultimately, this new pathway is leading you to different opportunities and horizons. And if you are still stuck or you find yourself stuck in a comfort zone, I am saying that this is the time for you to get out of it. You know, if you usually just travel with your family, this is a time to go travel by yourself. I say travel because there's a lot of, um, well, because the Lenormand card ship is sitting right in the middle of the reading. And I will show it to you. I will also say that it implies that you are going to travel very sensual, very erotic tour uh, tour with somebody that is a friend right there's a sense of loyalty to them they've shown a great deal of definitely de somebody that you trust and you feel comfortable with so I would predict that this may seem like a friend may turn into more than a friend, um, at least for the time being, uh, simply because it's it feels good. It feels right. As things shift, so do your inclinations and so do your desires. And this is a really good time to to allow things to just become and happen and uh, take note. Uh, nothing long term. I don't feel anything long term here. Um, and maybe that's what's so good for you is that it doesn't feel like you're being locked in. But right now it does feel like you have you have in a lot of ways given a lot. And in 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 on the backside, it, it, instead of being given back to, you've been taken from. So it's time for you to find a place where you can get yourself back into balance. And there definitely are, there's, there is, it's weird. Let's put it this way. It's almost like dancing with the devil. That's what I feel like right now. I'm sorry, guys. My eye is itching and I apologize. Contact lenses bother me and I, I'm, I apologize. So I'm sorry. Um, it's like dancing with the devil. It's like, you know, you're chilling, you're hanging out with people and, and it's fun and they're playful. But should you take them too seriously? Should you let your guard down? 
Um, I wouldn't. Let, let's just say that. I mean, if you're hanging out with some new people, I would definitely not let your, I would enjoy yourself. Let's put it this way. I would be on the giving end, not the receiving end. Yeah, because it's it's that time. It's a time to like, just like, oh, here, lay it all out. And if people take it, let them take it. Because it's almost like bait. I'm going to say it out loud. That sense of like offering, how much can you offer and sort of observing how much will they take? You know what I'm saying? That that kind of like gameplay about how much will somebody take? Somebody making an offer and then wanting to take it back. And there's just this sense of being on a, um, walking a fine path between do I trust this person? Um, do I not trust this person? But isn't it fun as I'm on this high wire right now? Um, now, maybe for some of you, especially those of you who were thrust into this new situation, it is not fun for you right now. It's not even a choice that you make. And if so much, so much, um, so much of you right now is really trying to kind of like reconstruct your life, your reputation, your sense of spirit and sense of direction, uh, trying to sort of come back and put all the pieces back together again. And ultimately, I don't think that that is going to happen. I, I, I honestly, I just see you fucking on this bohemian excursion with this new wild person that you even met at a distance from yourself. Ex just like like hippie kind of love, you know, like, like living for the moment, loving for the moment, somebody that really isn't asking you uh, anything because what your focus is, is what is what the real opportunity is, is almost like there's a double edged sword because what the real opportunity is, especially maybe through this person is finding your way back to your integrity and what you're good at. And, and, and everybody's like, okay, oh, that's what Gemini always uses people. No, you have to understand. And this, this just proves that people don't understand what Gemini is, right? Gemini, I, fuck yes. I know that Gemini's are the twins. Oh, double-sided two faces. No, it's because they're always simultaneously seeing things from two different perspectives at all times. And, um, a Gemini is really, they're the third house. So the house of communications, house of intellect, house of higher learning, house of learning in general, house of education, talking one-on-one. -on -one. What does that mean? What does that mean? That is how Geminis learn life is by talking to people, by befriending people, by being in relationships to people. That's how they experience the pathway to their highest selves is through their connections, their, their personal relationships with people. And that's why so often Geminis will um, switch friends or switch groups or disappear for a while and then come back or make friends with everybody or not be able to be in a really long-term monogamous relationship because that's stopping their learning. That's stopping their ability to educate themselves and, and learn and understand the world in, in the way that they were constructed to do it. They were made to share messages. Um, now, of course, it, it depends on, you know, what they choose to do in life and, and where their moon sign is, where their Venus sign is in terms of long-term relationships. I certainly know Gemini who are in very, very happy in long-term relationships, you know, but it's definitely always with somebody who encourages education and freedom and learning and thinking you know you have to challenge your gemini's thoughts you have to be intelligent or you're gonna bore the fucking shit out of them you know good sex and good sex only lasts for so long gemini's really need to more than that they need they need to be intrigued they need to be interested they need to always be kind of be on the edge of learning the new thing so I mean, by, by and by, that's kind of what you're on the edge of now, finding this sort of, I'm seeing it as a foreign person, but definitely another group or another set of friends that, yes, there's a give and take, and it's not even necessarily that you trust them so much as you know this experience is going to take you away from this discomfort zone and into a whole new realm of of learning and opportunity to understand people and, and broaden and expand your um your perspective on life or even your capabilities this could have nothing to do with romance very much so it could have something to do with profession and how you make money in terms of taking this opportunity even if it's not from somebody who you could 
fully and completely trust. If it's an opportunity to get back to doing something that you really adore, you're just going to hop on board that train. You've got to take that chance. Um, I have I have soul love and soul tree standing in front of me. This is what I have. You know, soul love is definitely a deep spiritual connection with another person. And soul tree is reconnecting to your center, grounding yourself, and being then able to expand, broaden, reach up and beyond to grow, to grow yourself through that connection to your source, your soul. You're getting back to your source, um, what, what it is that your soul is telling you. So this is sort of like the spiritual reading, right? In the beginning of the general reading. We're going to get into... Um, the animal totem cards and then of course the angel messages and then the tarot card reading is the most specific and it gets the nitty-gritty of your challenges and the answers to those challenges the solutions um, as well as your romance reading and that's in the extended just FYI it's always gonna be uh, organized that way um, but this is really a soul love is about higher understanding and connection um, and finding that that connection with in another person so it's not necessarily we don't need to call it something we don't need to uh, it's committing yourself to the purpose of your soul as opposed to committing yourself to a person or another person's soul you know what i'm saying it's like soul mating with your soul purpose in life instead of soul mating with a human um not to say that it, there's not some bonding here because there is some sensuality and desire and that's why i think you're like taking a trip in, 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 in terms of or at, at least exploring different aspects of your desire right now. You're sort of like reaching out and branching out and saying and really allowing yourself to have the freedom to to explore different aspects of your sensuality. So this could if you're in a relationship, it could be causing conflict. Maybe, though, if you're in a relationship, it's not conflicting if you are honest with this person and you ask them to share their your journey it could be very pleasurable and enjoyable and eye-opening or awakening for the both of you just an fyi because this is like your desires some are hidden some are deep some are seedy some are not so um um mainstream and some are just pure and innocent and basically being wide-eyed and open to traveling and exploring different things that you may like but there's definitely a companion here there's definitely somebody a, at least a friend who is going along and maybe they're even leading you through it somebody who has encouraged this uh exploration in you so go along with it this card tells us of it's time to give rather than receive you've received a lot lately and so it's time to give i honestly do believe there's a sense of um like I said, it's better to be the one giving right now because giving, it's it's less of a vulnerable position. I feel like that's more what you want to be, This that you don't want, you want to get away from vulnerability. So it's almost like you're dedicating yourself maybe to helping people who have taken been taken advantage of, or you're kind of stepping up and speaking out for um, a, a group of people who has been disenfranchised in some way. And the reason is because you want balance. It's like you're trying to be a friend to the unfriendable because you want to restore balance. You're speaking out and, you know, what you say is probably not popular, right? Um, it's, it is not popular because what's comfortable is the extreme that everybody else has or that other people have gone to. And so that's why you... If, 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 immediately take the opposite side because you're trying to bring back and stabilize and draw people back to that north node energy of you know moving on from the comfort zone we're not supposed to be in the comfort zone right now and now that this could have caused a few fights you know or a few um you know disagreements with people that you care about or in close personal relationships simply because you know you see a different perspective and it's it's making somebody else angry it's frustrating people you see a danger in certain situations that they don't see because they're kinds of all kinds of cozy and comfortable and they think it's a holly jolly christmas everything is happy everybody's just going to keep giving things to me but no but they're really trying to like sneak something out behind them and take advantage of them and you're just trying to like maybe you're just trying to be a good friend or they're just trying to be a good friend and whoever it is they're actually trying to warn you of an actual danger this person who looks like they're giving is really there's something there's something that they want 
on the other side. So be very cautious of that right now, especially in your personal life. Just be very cautious of that. Um, it may be a good time for you to step away from who you normally are around, right? Your, your normal peeps. Um, and this is also telling me that there is a little ostracification, um, ostracizing going on. They're leaving you out or people are leaving you out. People are, are pushing you out or pushing you away. Or you're naturally finding yourself isolated because you don't really agree with the mainstream, bottom line. You, you don't. Um, and this is why it's so important for you to sort of find your soul song right now. A sense of getting back to just you and your vision and your voice and, and sharing it through an art form might make it a lot more digestible for people to understand. So if you're artist gets turned on right now um don't don't be surprised because it's it's a wonderful way to express uh things in a digestible medium so that people will be willing to listen to you and i think it will actually gain you a lot of um a lot of appreciation um also a sense of accepting love accepting appreciation for your artistic endeavors or creativity things that you build or things that you do being appreciated um even if in some ways you are not that's another little red flag i have to say people may be trying to piecemeal you right now like saying oh this is the good part of gemini but this is the bad part so i'm just going to accept the good part and not the bad part and we all know that's a bunch of bullshit. So, uh, yeah, wealth is what comes out. So this is really, um, and time. So it, it feels like there's pressure somehow financially. Um, it may be you're waiting for pay, paychecks didn't come in, the new job offer hasn't come in. Um, something is putting a pressure point on, like time is running out in terms of money that was supposed to come in or money that's supposed to be paid. So there could very well be people offering to help you, but at the same time, they're trying to grab something from the other side. So you're almost like, um, do I do I, I don't trust them bottom line I don't I don't really because you see it you get it and you just want to be light-hearted right now you want to be just you want to just be sort of carefree but you got to deal with all this shit oh man okay so we're gonna get into your animal totem cards Jen and I um hopefully offering you some solutions. If you like this video, please like this video and share the video on your other social media platforms because that helps the channel grow. Subscribe down below and ring that bell and hit all notifications so you know when I upload between 12 and 14 videos a week, Gemini comes out every Thursday, but I do all 12 zodiac signs. So sun, moon, check out your sun, moon, rising sign, other people's signs, you know. Um, or even like pick a cards that are not specific. Um, they're all there every week. Um, I always have an extended reading that's down below. And you can subscribe directly to Vimeo as well. And then you get access to the extendeds a day before they pop up here in a link. Um, also over there is where I post my weekly astrological forecast. So we know what's happening in the cosmos for the week ahead. And I also post to Instagram, which is there's a lot of fun content there, as well as I go live there Monday through Friday and I do a daily tarot card reading live. So I'd love for you to join in. Um, Born underscore without underscore boundaries is where you can find me on Instagram. Okay, so let's get into your reading. Damn, the cards knew what they wanted to say to you. Okay. All right, so what's wonky here? A rebirth is assured, be playful. Okay, so this is a time of coming out of the dark and getting lighter, a time that's easier. But it's also a sense of of, of trying to shed, because um, remember now the bat has wings, it can fly, trying to shed all the things that have been trying to bring you down or hold you back. This is what your goal is. You, you want it to be done. You want it to be over with. Letting bygones be bygones and putting the past behind you, whether it be you forgiving somebody or them forgiving you or just move, getting over it and moving on. You're really wishing and trying to be able to move on from something and start a new phase in your life 
without being prejudiced about your old life. But there's constant nagging and there's constant bitching and there's constant uh, bugging you. Somebody's always um, something, something's nagging you, bugging you. It may, and it's definitely from the past, something that just won't die and won't leave you alone. So you know what that means, right? It means that you have to turn around and address it. The only way to end the bugging is to end the bug, you know? So call it out, confront it, and take it out. That's the confrontation with this. It's scorpionic energy. It's something like that's that's like seedy and underhanded and or underneath the surface. And it, it's bugging you and it's bothering you. And so you have to confront it. But it could be the confrontation itself that's bringing you down and marring your ability to move on to the future. So that may be what you want to consider if you're constantly stuck in this tit for tat. This is definitely the time to say, is this worth it anymore? Because how much of it is take, how much is it taking out of me? Um, then we have, you see clearly now, this is the truth the shining through, um, you knowing exactly what the way forward, you seeing the truth, you, 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 you getting it. And this is love. This is new love. This is romantic love. Okay. Mm, okay. Partnership and take the lead. Um, wow. All of a sudden, what could be nagging you is this desire for somebody. Um, uh, it may not make much sense to you. It may not even, it may be a surprise to you, which I feel like it is, but it's almost like you've been guided to somebody. You've been guided to this person. You, you kind of like see them from afar. You can't take your eyes off of them. Take the lead. Stag is here too. This is a destined relationship. Um, this is almost like some place where you were led via fate. It's definitely partnership. Time for a deep dive. This is a deep dive into your heart space. Um, it's also a sense of you be the leader. You take the first step, even if it doesn't matter if it's romantic. It's almost like take the first step. It's it, take the first step into understanding A, what the issue is and B, tackling it. You still have a position here as a leader. Spirit has a plan. So this is a little bit of fate and destiny. It's also about looking at things objectively and being, yeah, like taking some perspective, like stepping back so that you can look at things objectively um, instead of, you know, having to participate like yeah just look at things objectively hold on sing your own song this is what's coming is freedom and liberation and basically being able to speak your mind and say what you need to say and not being afraid of any kinds of the, any kind of repercussion life is speeding up which is also your energy um things are come will start to come together for you they'll start to make more sense and opportunities will start to come a lot more fluently but this is the dog in reverse this is somebody who's see this is disloyalty. It, if, if I could read this as a whole story, I would think that there's somebody in your life right now who means a lot to you because they're helping you to move on to the next phase of your life. But there's a sense of having to move on from them in the future. This is not a long-term gig. It's not a long-term relationship. Um, it's just not. It, it doesn't it doesn't seem like that's what it's it's going to lead to. Um, but of course, this could also be getting away from and liberating yourself from people who are fake, people who are false, and finally being able to, because it's almost like in order, to, in order to have to be around those false people, part of you had to be false too. You had to be, you know, nodding your head or shaking hands that you didn't want to shake. That kind of energy, it, it, it's like... It's like now that you've cleared it, now that you've like you've like cleared that bullshit or you've realized they don't approve of you anyway, you have this amazing liberation and freedom to be able to just move forward and do what you want to do again and, and say, fuck disloyal people. So it could be a great opportunity to just move away from now, you know, this loss may actually be liberation is what I'm saying. Gemini. Gemini. Okay, so um, protection is what I see first. You are safe. Do not fear. You, we, we are with you always um, and surround you always with our invisible wings of light. So this is spirit. 
This is 100. Wow. This is Angel saying, we've got you. I know it feels like a really bad thing right now, but we've got you. Sacred space. We, your guardian angels, surround you with emerald, gold, and rose pink light. Surrender your concerns and worries and enter the sacred space of love and healing. So this is a time for you to be in a safe place. This is a time for you to take anything that people are offering that's helping you to restore and heal and protect yourself right now. Uh, miracle. Our wings of light surround you and those you love. This current situation is governed by a higher power. The forces of love are at work. All will turn out well. Okay. And then we have sacred knowledge. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Feel the peace within. Beyond your thoughts lies your external truth, the I am presence of eternal love. So getting back to your source, getting back to who you are again. Okay, creative potential is here. You are by nature infinitely creative. Life is a sea of potential just waiting to be expressed through you. You are free to express all your heart's desires. Finally, for the first time in a long time, you have the freedom to actually do what you want to do. Precious gift. Friendship, family, and love are precious gifts. Do not lose sight of what is most important. And ultimately, I don't think that you have. So anybody that's passing in and out of your life right now, you're really not, you're, you need to take the healing, but also don't feel obligated. And, and like literally just, it's got to be about you restoring you right now. Let's go to tarot and I'll articulate the challenges and the pathway through. I'll see you guys in the extended.